Hey everybody, Dr. Giggles here from SFNE Online, and of course your host of The Gross Show. Shame on you if you're not watching that. We have a lot of fun when we do that. But anyway, so today's video is all about uh, Six Flags New England. It's a little bit of a, um, uh, a park update between when we went to the dinosaurs, questions I asked the park, and the answers that I received. So we're going to get into that, and before we do, <clears throat> make sure if you're new here, you click subscribe, click like if you enjoyed it, share it. Without you guys, we can't grow, and you guys have been amazing and helping and sharing and enjoying and commenting and all that, so I really appreciate that. And then leave a comment what you think about, you know, what, what's your favorite topic, you know, what did you want to talk about, what upsets you, what excites you, et cetera, et cetera. So enough of my babbling, and let's get into this. So the first thing that we're going to talk about of the four questions that I asked um, the park. I'm going to go through each question. I'm going to give you my input of what I think about each question, and then we'll dive into the other park updates from when we went through their dinosaur adventure. All right, so the first question was, when will the cash to cards start working? Uh, I saw the screen in the soccer game. It's in front of the uh, old uh, station for the Skyway. Uh, you know, by the crane games. Uh, and I said they had a 404 error, and I, and I you know, I just want to know when it was, because people were asking. So she goes, we had one machine offline Saturday morning. They are currently up and running and apologize if you had any issues. Should be all set next time you come to the park. So uh, for those that don't, for those that don't know that Six Flags has become cashless. They do have machines. You can put your cash in. It gives you a credit card thing and you can use it in the park and whatnot. So that's that. Uh, I, get, I mean, for the most part, I view, I use credit cards. Uh, very, the only time I've used cash was like the games, and now the games are accepting credit cards and stuff. So, uh, you know, I mean, unless you don't have a credit card or whatever, and you only got cash, that's your your way. Uh, number two uh, was, when will food and mobile ordering begin? Because I know a lot of parks have been doing it, and the answer to that was, we look forward to welcoming mobile ordering during our 2021 season. Um, so I guess as, you know, once they get everything up and running for, um, when they can open rides and stuff, I'm sure they'll have that in place. I think, don't hold me to that. I mean, I mean, if I'm at the, like, say I'm at Batman, I want to go to Captain River, I can order it. And by, hopefully by the time, uh, you get there, it could be done, might not be done. I, I, I've heard a lot of, uh, baloney. Uh, we talked about, uh, number three on the list was, uh, the, on the app, Goliath said, uh, down for the season everything else said open so i asked you know is there any truth can you talk about it blah 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 and uh the answer i got was goliath will be closed for the season we have yet to announce future plans we invite you to enjoy our other rides attractions and experiences um what i'll do is i'll put the goliath video at the end screen hand i'm not going to get too into it if you want to watch that but the quick little blip i would say is my prediction is it'll never open it's going to be gone and something else is coming when that happens, could be a few years, could be two years, could be next year, could be 10 years. I don't know. Uh, the next and fourth final question that I had asked was, at this point, when you open for rides, will Supergirl be opening on that opening day whenever you get the green light? I know this one is tough to answer because the park can't open with rides. So the answer was, at this time, we have yet to announce an opening day for Supergirl Skyflyer. However, we are eager to premiere a newly themed DC Universe and Supergirl Skyfly for the 2021 season. Because, so, you know, they got the new sign. Uh, there, there are uh, construction pictures. and uh, Well, not construction, but we have pictures up on Facebook and stuff about uh, Supergirl. You know, it's done. I mean, I don't know about the queue and all that, but the ride itself is done. We, we couldn't get into the D.C. area to check. So now for the other updates for the park. Uh, and and, for, and before I get into that, who's excited for Supergirl? Because I am. For those that don't know what it is, it's a Zamparella Endeavor. It's basically like a new version of an Enterprise, and I'm excited. We got the the little model with one seat, but they're back to back instead of two by two. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, so the Holly Quinn statue is finally up. Uh, you can see that in the picture here. Uh, also, the DC sign we saw that around Holiday in the Park when we went in there. Uh, so that's cool. The cash to credit machines are good. Uh, there is no train on the Goliath station. Things are looking great in the park. Uh, I don't know what else you would need to know, but if you have any questions or anything, by all means, let us know down below. Uh, and let us know if you're going to go to the Dino Experience just to get out of the house. 
But anyway, until next time, everybody, thank you guys for watching. And uh, keep on coasting, y'all. Peace. Uh -huh.